Beyond Bitcoin Hangouts are meant to give everyone a voice, a chance to speak with others who are passionate advocates for expanding the blockchain's use cases out into the world and beyond. Do you have a crypto community you would like to represent and hold open hangouts for? If so, you might find yourself on the path to owning a stake in Beyond Bitcoin. We are looking for people who care about people, people who want to bring others together, because crypto communities are people. Beyond Bitcoin is a movement of thinkers and doers in the crypto space. And if you feel you are one of them, reach out to beyondbitcoin at gmail.com for more information on how to debut your community's efforts to reach to the stars and beyond. Welcome everybody to another Beyond Bitcoin Hangout. Today is June 3rd, 2016. We're joined today by the Beyond Bitcoin community and we are trying a new format out, well, slightly different. Beforehand, I'm going to go through that and just kind of give a, a run through of what I've talked about last week. And that is that we now have, due to steemit.com existing, uh, a place called Beyond Bitcoin. I call it a sub steemit, for lack of a better word. And we post within 24 to 48 hours after these hangouts for the next three hangouts after this one we're going to be posting an rsvp thread and that thread is going to be available for anybody to go and post their own projects or post any topics or questions that they feel need covered during the beyond bitcoin hangouts these are made for everybody to have a voice right so the reason why we have this set up is if you go and post and you then go out and lobby the community to upvote it, you're going to have a higher priority on the list that we go down to cover topics uh, in, in the finite amount of time that we have during every Hangout. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the top voted comment, which is from, it's from Tuck the Man to Dan, uh, and he's talking about in response to the 527 hangout. Uh, I believe that he thinks that Dan said that they created bots posting things from Reddit, but he doesn't have any clue where the idea came from that we use a bot. The only thing that we have linked to Reddit that I'm aware of in comment is quoting Vlad Zamfer. You have misidentified the person who is using the bot to post things from Reddit, but it is not us. I am well aware of who is doing it, but I can assure you it is no one at tuckfoman.com. Everything we post here is done manually and very selectively. I am very sure most here at Steam that are paying attention are fully aware of my personal positions on bots here on Steam. Is Tuckfoman here? Does anybody know what this reddit bot is all about from what i'm gathering it's cross posting people's um reddit posts over to steam it that's a good question is that what the steamian website does cube so it essentially allows you to cross post to reddit and steam at the same time cube says register new users and let them cross post to reddit and steam well, that's a really cool little site. I'm glad that Tuck brought this up more for the reason that we can uh, dig into what Steemian is, and that's spelled S-T-E-E-M-I-A-N dot com. Okay, well, we've got that one checked off. Now we are to Peer Plays, and it looks like Peer Plays team is going to be talking about DAO proposal. So the uh, DAO. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to talk about that a little bit, Data, or is Crypto going to talk about it, or both of you? How's this going to work? I'm just going to be giving a quick uh, update, and then uh, Crypto will be able to fill in afterwards. Sounds good. Hello, everybody. My name is Jonathan Bahai. I am the president of Bunker Chain Labs, the company which is heading up the Peer Plays project. Uh, today, I'm 
very excited to uh, talk about the uh, the DAO proposal, uh, which we submitted this week. Uh, that was uh, one of the main uh, things that happened in this uh, past week uh, was to start that process. And uh, so far, we've had a really interesting response. Uh, I've been getting all kinds of uh, private messages, phone calls uh, from various DAO holders uh, to give us feedback and to discuss the, the proposal itself. And uh, interestingly enough, the, the feedback I'm getting, uh, they're, they're happy with the proposal as it is, but um, the main thing that seems to be the issue uh, with the way that uh, it's presently formed is that they actually would like to see more <laughs> of peer plays uh, going to the DAO. Uh, they're more interested in having a, a larger stake uh, in the project. So uh, that was uh, some of the feedback I got. I also uh, got some other feedback. and. But uh, that was that was pretty much the the main thing uh, that I've heard from various people. So um, that's uh, that's what happened with the project in terms of uh, with the uh, the DAO proposal uh, this week uh, for the crowdfund. We are uh, just a few thousand dollars away from selling half of all our tokens uh, for the current phase of this uh, crowdfund. So that's very exciting. Uh, so there's only half left. They're moving. So. Um, that's uh, that's also very good. Uh, that is what happened this week. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, also, early this week, I was also on a news radio show, uh, interviewed uh, to, to discuss Bitcoin, uh, blockchain in general, and uh, uh, also to talk about peer plays. And uh, we have that posted on our website. You can listen to it. Uh, approximately 22 minutes in is uh, where I show up. And uh, yeah. So that was uh, that's Peer Plays this week, and uh, exciting times. Uh, it would be amazing if uh, uh, a DAC actually uh, works with the DAO in, in this way, uh, the two decentralized networks uh, combined. And uh, I, I'm really excited about the prospects of what that could mean. And that's my update for this week. Thank you very much, Data. Is crypto uh, going to be taking up the conversation and talking to me about the tournament that we're going to have together and i'm going to defeat him in oh fuzzy <laughs> sorry yeah. i just have to plug it man no that's that's great i think uh i think uh i think we can we can uh go at it in uh in the near future um yeah things are things are going really well um on the development side we've got um we've got our profit during module that's that's coming right along and and uh uh, sometime around mid June, um, we're going to be drawing up a a um, a um, I want to call it a lay version, but a a, a, a an explainer. Um, I don't know if we're going to do a video or not. It'll be a nice layout of exactly how it works, how it functions, and um, so that when we uh, release the actual code um, at the beginning of July, um, as per our, our milestones, um, everyone will be able to. Um, check that out and and see how that works so um yeah we're we're um we're so this week uh this upcoming week i just have uh to, to quickly mention here um for the project uh we are starting uh we're going to be launching a development uh contest a um we we've got an in in-house um design i'm sorry did i say development contest my my my, my brain's a little fuzzy this morning i'm sorry uh, a design contest a gui uh, graphic user interface design contest and uh, also a design contest for the pure place logo so we've decided that um you know we've got an in-house designer but um after mulling it over a little bit we we realized that um, you know, it's really best to crowdsource design um, because you can have uh, a lot of different, you know, perspectives and ideas and, you know, creativity is, uh, I think, uh, you know, one of those things that, um, you know, the more people that are contributing, the more uh, more possibilities emerge. So uh, we've got a, a nice little a lucrative uh, package set up. Um, it's nothing that's uh, going to blow anyone out of the water, I don't think, uh, here all these uh steam heads on this uh on this call that are you know looking forward to their you know thousands of dollars in july that they're going to make with steam but um but we've got uh we've got some some actually some really nice uh prizes uh lined up for uh for the designs um we've got i think we're going to do a, a first second and third place prize so there's going to be a lot of incentive to uh you know to to check it out and to and to uh submit some cool designs for us and the um 
you know, the, the winning designs obviously are going to be worked into um, the, the, the graphic user interface. So, you know, right now, um, every, everyone here is probably familiar that, that uh, Peer Plays is, is being built on Graphene. And, um, you know, the BitShares wallet is one example of the way that, uh, you know, that the, the data on a Graphene blockchain can be displayed to the user, right? And, and um, we, we want to um, put together, we, we want to, um, you know, uh, figure out a way to make it uh, much more intuitive and, uh, you know, make the user experience, um, you know, match the, the gaming environment, which is uh, what we're setting up. So. Um, so we've got some some just sort of preliminary mockups that we've done up, and and uh, we'll have a, we'll have more information about this in the coming week um, in terms of uh, sort of what we're looking for um, for this contest. But anyway, uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's what we've got on the plate right now. Um, you know, I think Jonathan covered everything else. Um, so yeah, so I'd I'd say that's my update. Um, Unless anyone has any questions, I can uh, I can answer them too. So, out of curiosity, um, this uh, Peer Plays logo competition that you guys are having, you guys also have a Peer Plays sub steam it. So, could people go there and post the logo and get upvotes for the top ones there? Would that be something that you would see being a way of them making money on Steam and potentially winning a much bigger award in terms of stake in the ecosystem that you guys are working with with Peer Plays? Absolutely, Fuzzy, and I'm glad you brought that up because um, you know this this uh, whole Steam phenomenon that we're all experiencing is is really um, it's really going to be good for a lot of people. So yeah, that's that's a that's a good idea. Um, we're going to have the the uh, the whole contest uh, get up posted on Steam as an OP uh, anyway, so people there and find out about it. Um, we're, I think we're also going to have a landing page, um, a simple landing page where the actual uh, official submissions uh, will take place for the contest. Um, so you'll you'll obviously you'll have to you know submit it as a as an app, you know as a submission as well um, to that. But but yeah, um, I think that uh, you know I've 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 been watching. Um, for example, uh, the, the the Steam uh, logo and some banner ads that people have been creating um, that have gotten a lot of upvotes uh, on Steam lately. So, yeah, that's a good idea, Fuzzy. Um, would, that'll that'll definitely be uh, an option for people as well. Well, that, I just you know, it's one of those things where every time we have a new chain that pops up here, uh, Peer Place is going to offer new things that other chains don't offer, and these are all tools in our toolbox. So it's really cool to sit here and think about how we can utilize all of these tools that are being put in our toolbox. Right. Yeah. And, and also, um, you know, part of the reason why we're so excited to, to sort of cross promote with, uh, with steam is just because steam is another uh, great example of something that can be built on graphene. Right. And in the, in the wider space, um, you know, we, we've been interacting a lot on the on, in the Bitcoin talk community lately. And, you know, there's just not a lot of basic understanding of what the graphene actually is and what are what are the features that have that have already been built and, and tested and proven. You know, we're we're uh, we're building pure place on a on an open source platform that that already works. Um, a lot of the a lot of the things, uh, a lot of the features of pure place, just to pull one example, uh, the referral system. Uh, that's all built and and it functions. You know, this isn't this isn't something we're proposing to build. This is something that exists and is available as we speak. Um, so you know, this 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 uh, this awareness isn't really prevalent out there um, to a large degree of of what what graphene is and and what it do. Um, and so you know, Steam is just a just a great example. And of course, Steam is a a modified version because it, it you know it it is used some pieces of uh, you know what BitShares has, and and uh, they've plugged in a whole bunch of new features to it. And um and that's what we're doing with with uh, Pure Plays as well. We're going to be you know picking pieces uh, you know from from the existing framework, and we're building you know, all of our new all kinds of new smart contracts and and things too. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, Steam is, uh, you know, our, 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 our main forum, um, our goal is to move 
the main peer place forum, you know, the main discussion forum when when uh, as the project goes forward and we and we uh, sort of, sort of coalesce and and uh, you know the, the the place where the community can gather, the peer place community can gather and and uh, and discuss things um, is going to be on on Steemit. And uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, as Steemit evolves and and uh, more sort of sophisticated, uh, you know, tools are are developed for for um, for uh, you know for it to be a, a, a sort of a more a fancier forum, right? I mean, it's uh, it's kind of bare bones right now, um, but uh, but that's going to change, and and it's going to become something I think. Uh, you know that's 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 going to be the, the 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 new Reddit. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I I just uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this publicly and call it right here. I think I think Steemit is gonna is gonna overtake Reddit in the next you know two or three years. Um, I, I just don't see anything else happening. Um, yeah, barring let's say. I, I will make one caveat um, because we do have an experiment that hasn't launched yet with Steemit, and that's the Steam back dollars, and that goes live on July 4th. So I will say we're kind of in the uh, phase of now that BitShares was in in uh, in July of 2014, the month before um, market pegged assets went live, which was in August of 2014, and the you know the chain was launched and it was proven that everything worked, but you still didn't have the sort of the main gold nugget hadn't launched, and so nobody knew. We all thought it was going to work, and then you know market pegged assets launched and and the experiment went well, but. Uh, Steam back dollars is is looking very promising, um, and uh, I, I know everyone here is really looking forward to July to get their hands on some of these payouts that they see coming as well. So, um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, man. I, I'm looking forward to these uh, payouts myself, but I, I'm also interested in seeing how it gets reinvested back into. Uh, the ecosystems that are growing around BitShares right now. Now, one thing I'll bring up, Brindle, Brindle Swan here posted something before he left. He said, I have to get going early now this week. Just wanted to bring up an idea. Steemit.com should allow for free registering of a BitShares account when the Steemit account is created. I'll listen to your replies on the courting. Uh, on the recording, have a good day and a great week, everyone. Uh, what I would say is that would be a great thing to post to Steam it and see what people uh, think about it. Does anybody else have any thoughts on that? Would you upvote it? Oh, okay. Yeah, Fox, just drop by here, everyone. Anybody who's listening in, Fuzzy, I'm not able to speak. Please update the following on my behalf. Fox is speaking at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia on Monday evening. His talk is titled Democratic Consensus, a comparative introduction to the graphene blockchain. Please see the posting on Steam. Um, that would be under Crypto News, and the user is at Fox. You're very welcome, and just so, just so you guys know, uh, posting these things to the actual threads that I'm going to be posting for RSVPing is going to be the best way to guarantee that these pieces of information get covered and promoted. And this is going to be the second week that we've tried it now, the first full week that we've tried it, so it's going to be slightly different than normal. But Fox, if you can get it re recorded, please let us know and uh, let's post it. Sounds good. Well, that's all we have on the actual post for the RSVP post. Does anybody have any other projects or topics that they'd like to cover? Sure. Wherever cap. Hey guys, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, great. Thanks. Um, so uh, my name is June, uh, aka Mariver Cap, uh, founder of uh, Bitcash, uh, and. Uh, it's a, um, you know, we're building a simple uh, USD wallet uh, on the BitShares platform. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I uh, actually started a, kind of a journey blog, Demit. Uh, so if you search for um, BitCash or, uh, you know, the blog series title is Bootstrap, uh, you know, feel free to search for that and uh, you can follow along. Um, 
uh, with us. And what I'm trying to do is really just uh, give some insight on you know what it's like running a startup. You know, we're really bootstrapped. It's just myself, and you know we have investors and part-time people helping out. But it's kind of uh, uh, I think just uh, I'm hoping to kind of share you know what it's like, what we're trying to accomplish, and just kind of give a day by day and or week by week journal of what's going on. So uh, feel free to follow along there. Um, one of the things uh, you know. Uh, uh, while writing this, I realized this, you know, we got as a, as a startup, you know, we're just really focused on uh, getting as many alpha testers right now as possible. Uh, so what I was hoping for is to just, uh, you know, for those I know many of uh, many people here have already tried out our alpha uh, web wallet. Uh, but I was hoping that, you know, uh, for those that haven't tested it out, it, it takes about five minutes. You know, and we're just looking for people to test it out and just give some feedback and um, uh, just so we can just really maintain our uh, habit of outreaching uh, every day. So this is kind of one of those things where, hey, <laughs> you know, this is a good uh, venue, the the mumble here and uh, hoping people check out our alpha uh, of our web wallet. And you could actually just go to wallet dot bigcash dot org uh and you can just check it out and you can give feedback to me um i'll just put my email on the uh, chat here uh and uh that's it i just you know uh you can follow the bitcash bootstrapped uh blog or uh, uh and also if you guys uh, can you know check out uh, alpha version of our web wallet that'd be fantastic so that's kind of the two things i just wanted to mention can you give us the address to the web a lot? So it is wallet, W-A-L-L-E-T dot bitcash, B-I-T-C-A-S-H dot org, O-R-G. Okay, so if somebody goes there out of curiosity, I know that I talked to you at one point in time about, uh, you said that you guys were going to have something similar to what ByteMaster has in terms of brownies for the ecosystem, uh, for the Bitcash ecosystem. Am I correct on that, first off, before I go forward? Uh, yes, we do have a UIA that I've uh, been giving uh, out to, um, I mean, previously we had a thread on BitShares talk uh, about, um, you know, uh, 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 Founders Club uh, for Bitcash, uh, those that responded to the thread. So we did give away a, a UIA that is, that are like brownie points and um you know i'm hoping to actually give away some pairs based on those points but you know with points you know you, you know legally we can't say that we can't it's not a it's not promise a or obligation yeah um it's something though that i do want to give founders to those that have this uia kind of one for uh, each point uh but again there's no obligation that we can change our mind and uh, it's, they're like brownie points. They're just points uh, to keep track of those that support um, Bitcash. So uh, that UIA, I believe it's um, uh, uh, B uh, BC SharePoints, or it's I think GIFs BC SharePoints. It's kind of a long, um, uh, uh, kind of a long UIA. But yeah, that's one thing. You know, for those that uh, do participate and help out. Um, you know, I've uh, we have been giving those away, and we plan to give more away for those that uh, you know do help us out. So, so out of curiosity, the reason why I bring it up here is these tokens seem like a way that you know, let's say I go out and I create a wallet, or better yet, I import my other wallet file into this file. I mean, into this web wallet, and I'm using my wallet there. Is there a way of essentially giving you giving those users and um, some of these gift tokens automatically when they create the account? Uh, so our uh, simple USD wallet it just holds that one smart coin we have. So uh, we can't issue these uh, brownie points to. Uh, are not brownie points, but you know these uh, big cash share points to people directly. But you know if if uh, you know you set up an account and let me know, I'll, I'll probably be able to figure out. Or you can just also send me your 
you know, um, regular account or just, um, you know, just your, 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 your handle here on, uh, uh, you know, bit, either BitShares talk form or steam it, or, you know, we can probably make the connection and I can send, um, you know, those points to, um, points to you, uh, on your, in your other wallet. So we can do it that way. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure exactly the amount I would, uh, that we will, we would give out, but we would, we will give some out. We'll, we'll also give, you know, a little bit of big cash as well. Those are just, you know, whether it's a dollar or five dollars, um, just for the feedback. Um, that's what we've been giving away as well. Well, you know, I'll tell you right now, um, thanks to Steam, uh, I would say, uh, if you want to, we could hold something for like a beyond bitcoin type of thing where people can join up and make their accounts and we could reward them there and maybe even record it and post it as a beyond bitcoin uh initiative and as you walk th people through that we could record that and post it and maybe get some upvotes and give all the funding that we earn from that to you Sorry, Fuzzy. I, I kind of missed that. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, trying to uh, um, answer a cube on the the wallet error. Um, uh, oh, you're fine. If it, yeah, if, if it does say init error, if you uh, refresh or maybe just remove that init error, or there's a you know, it's just when you can't connect to the blockchain for whatever reason, network reasons. Uh, sometimes you have to refresh and press maybe the connect. There's maybe a connect button. Uh, either that or just remove uh, on the URL address bar init error. You just might want to type in wallet.bigcash.org again, uh, and that should, uh, you know, at, at least eventually after refreshing a couple of times, that should, uh, uh, you know, fix any errors. So it's just not hitting the blockchain right now when you get that init error. Um, so, but um, fuzzy. Uh, let me see. Um, in terms of uh, you were mentioning something about using Steemit as a uh, as a as a tool, was that am I correct about that? Well, what I was thinking is, you know, you could hold yourself a little gathering, uh, maybe in Mumble or using Google Hangouts or something to that effect, show people how to uh, create their own accounts and post that as kind of a tutorial slash hangout and if you wanted to we could post it under beyond bitcoin and you could take all of the benefits from it of or of course you might be able to just do that by posting it to the bootstrap blog and tagging beyond bitcoin as well yeah that sounds like a great idea i will probably pursue uh something like that uh maybe a walkthrough or a get together on um google or mumble and uh I think that's a great idea. I mean, I I know I would gladly attend. It would help me to uh, see somebody who works with the wallet every day and see how you use it. You know. Yeah, that that sounds great. You know, we can do a walkthrough. Uh, you know, it's pretty simple right now, but you know, it's always good to just kind of go through and um, you know, and it, when it comes to people, alpha testers uh, and users, it's just even good to observe how people. Are, interact with it so we learn uh, as much as possible observations you know usually the the best way so but um but yeah that's a great idea we'll we'll definitely sure. uh, look forward to doing that yeah let me know man we can we can schedule something or i can help if you want it's up to you guys all right so anybody else here have any questions comments topics that they'd like to bring up any project updates that they uh, are aware of that we need to know about uh, the floor is open. So is that it for the week, guys? Well, I have some things I could talk about that I would like to bring up. So just uh, something that I've been thinking about doing and that I wanted to offer everybody here. Uh, every week, we have these little ad... Hold on one second here. We have these ads in Mumble uh, for two silver tickets per month. Uh, but what we can do is I would gladly take 50 copper tickets for a week 
and I would post Steam it ads or ads and links to Steam it uh, channels or Steam it posts. So if anybody is interested or has something that they would like to make sure is seen, uh, you can pay 50 copper tickets that have been earned for attending the previous hangouts and uh, signing the guest books to use that. Otherwise, I think that that's about all I have. Um, I am definitely going to say that I'm still working on the ShareBot. I'm trying to get it into the hands of Cube, who will be running it with my father, uh, who has 20 plus years experience uh, as an IT admin. Um, so I'm sure that between the two of them, will have a server that eventually will not be down all the time. And that's going to be the primary thing that I need to do. But right now we're trying to look into getting the password and login information so everybody can actually uh, access that server. We're going to use it for six months. We were initially going to switch servers, but we still have six months on the server that we paid for. So after that six months, we're most likely going to move it to a physical server that will be housed uh, in my local area. But, um, you know, those things will be subject to change. The ShareBot is um, up and running somewhat, but it might not be, you know, something that is easy to log into quite yet. But we're going to get it back up and running, and I'm also looking into the potential of hooking it up to Steam so people could pass around and tip BitShares tokens on Steam. So that's some of my thoughts. Uh, I think it would be really cool to be able to... I think it would be really cool to be able to send out beyond Bitcoin tokens as tips to people who post great stories in beyond Bitcoin and be able to automatically buy back those tokens using uh, steam backed dollars that we earn from upvoting the quality content that is posted. And uh, I think that other channels could do the same thing with their own tokens and this might be able to uh, kind of break up and um, I don't want to say divide but it, it would help to create new single or groups of people who work sing uh, work together to upvote certain types of content okay does anybody else have any updates or anything that they'd like to bring up there's a lot of conversation going on in the chat but unfortunately those who listen will not be able to hear that hey fuzzy just a comment uh um i do like the idea of having a kind of an extra uh, uh you know the you know tipping service on top of steam uh it does give you know it, it does open it up a little bit you know having you know multiple ways of uh, getting, you know, tips and, and rewards. So I, I like that idea, you know, and it, I think, uh, um, you know, it'd be great to see that going on the, on the Steam platform. Um, anyways, just wanted to make that quick comment. Well, I, you know, I've been thinking a lot about how to use this moving forward and how we can use the, the tools that are available to us to kind of help bring more eyes to bit shares and the way i look at it the more services that we can offer to these other graphene based chains uh the more likely that new graphene based chains are going to want to pop up because the value add to having a graphene chain will be that all these other services exist that you can plug into relatively easily so that's what i'm hoping uh, yeah, and tipping Steam, that is something that we are very interested in doing. But, um, you know, uh, there's there's a lot that's going into it right now, and I'm looking into it. Don't want to go too deep because this is something we're talking about right now and looking at uh, the possibilities. What's going on? 
can anybody um, here give us a Cliff Notes version of what's going on with Fox? I haven't. I, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to look back through the chat box now. I think he's talking about. Correct me if I'm wrong, Fox. Um, the the license agreement for graphene requires attribution, um, and Steam hasn't what publicly um, attributed. I, I'm not okay. Yeah, that, that that he's saying that's correct. So um, I'm assuming uh, that means they need to. What 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 would that require? What would public attribution require, Fox? Um, putting something on Steamit.com that says publicly says that the license is proprietary. So graphene as a base technology is MIT, but Steam being in a new iteration of graphene is proprietary. Is that what you guys are saying? Yeah, right. They can't I mean obviously they can't the only the only parts that are proprietary on Steam are the parts that they modified, right? So um yeah. It's probably well, what similar to Linux, where Linux has firmware and other things that are third-party items that are proprietary, but they're included. If you select a box to say, hey, we acknowledge, you acknowledge that you're using proprietary software. If you want that, then click here and we'll download it for you. But, but that's what I think he's getting at, is there's a, a conflict, because part of the license is open source, the MIT part, but the part that's specific to graphing uh, to steam that's been enhanced that's the proprietary part if i'm not mistaken well that kind of makes sense as people build on to this technology i mean there's always been a mixture of open source and proprietary working together because they're let's face it they're they're strength and strengths and weaknesses kind of work together don't they all right everyone well i wanted to say one final thing uh it, unless anybody else has something moving forward. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I have an initiative that I started up called uh, BitShares All-Stars. It is uh, an initiative that I'm doing because I would like to find the people who in BitShares have been really working hard to make sure that BitShares remains a strong blockchain and exchange which is what it's meant to become right and there are a lot of community members who are always living and breathing bit shares and they are the reasons why it will always exist so i just want to real quick give you guys a link to it in the steam it and ask that you consider posting about somebody um and all the good things that they're doing so they can be recognized. Because what I would like to start doing is reaching out to these people and uh, getting a little bit of their story, letting them tell about BitShares and why they love BitShares and what they're doing here and why they're doing what they're doing. Um, I would like to try to get these stories told so people can feel a little bit closer to the actual, the human side of this network, right? Not just the blockchain, like we're always talking about all this tech, but there are a lot of people here that are the equivalent of gold nuggets, and we just need to mine them out of the ground and show them off to the public so they can see what BitShares offers on the human element side, in addition to the superior technological features that it offers. So here is the link and please consider upvoting and participating by sponsoring an individual uh, and putting them up in here as a response. And thank you guys for your time and we'll see you guys next week. Oh, my God.